What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy and Genius, man. We back at it again. I'm in the garage. I'm in my crib. I'm at my spot, man. And we got some big things coming. Big Turbo Audi TT is about to get finished, man. So, uh, I got this head that's on this block. I'm about to undo the time. I'm going to take y'all with me, though. Uh, let me show you. I got something cool for y'all. Uh, let me see where it's at. I'm going to go find it. Give me a second. I'm going to find it. I'll come. All right, peep game, peep game. This right here, 80 millimeter throttle body. 80 millimeters, a Hemi throttle body. Uh, it got Chrysler on it, actually. So I think, actually, this might be a throttle body that actually comes on like the 6.1s and the 5.7 liter Dodgers. So uh, this definitely going on this thing. And my AEB head, it's an AEB head. It's built. It's got titanium dial springs. It's got titanium intake and exhaust valves, man. It's bad. I'm telling you, 100%, I'm going to rev this thing to the moon. I'm going to shift, no lift shift every time at 8,000 RPM. It's going to be a monster, but let's get it, man. I'm talking too much. All right, look at her. Look at that beaut. Ooh, ooh. Hold up, wait. Let me see. Can y'all see it? Can y'all see that right there? Say AEB. AEB head built. Titanium valve springs, large poor head. Kind of disappointed that it didn't come with lifters or a cam, but it's all good, though. I ain't really tripping because this thing right here. The cams on it look pretty good, so. It's a little, got a little dust on it or whatever. You can see in the camera. I haven't had it, haven't had a cover on it. Dang it. You can see it got like a little dust on it, but. Let me see. See, that's just like a little dirt. I ain't had no cover on it, so. Definitely make sure I clean that up. First thing first, I drain the coolant in this thing. Got it, all the coolant out. Then I start working on my down pipe. It's a bolt, a V-band at the top and a V-band at the bottom. So I loosen them both. And then I uh, loosen those O2 bonds, my wide band and my O2 sensor. Then tilted the down pipe to the side. Then by my guy at Two Nest Creation, Emory Go. Definitely go check them out. I started loosening the oil cooler lines, well, the oil lines and the coolant lines on the turbo. Jacked the motor up so I could support it, so I could take that left side, of, that's the passenger side of motor mount off. It's always a pain in the butt doing that. The motor mount is easy, but uh, when it comes to undoing the timing and actually getting that, the, the mount off that's attached to the engine, it's, it's quite the pain. is the motor mount that I'm talking about that is attached to the block. So the trick to this, because it took me a while to figure this out, the trick is you try to jack the motor all the way up. And then if you jack it up, you can kind of twist it and angle it and then it come right down. I was able to break the bolts loose for the head, the head studs. You said through a rock? No, the piston. Uh, I think the piston pulled out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, we could try to yank this boy up, but I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Why don't good. you drench it up a little bit out of the from the engine up? Well, see, we got these studs still in here, so I was trying to clear the studs. How was that? We we still got that one stud in there. We knew, cause uh, I tried to get it out, and uh, we could. All right. How you gonna get this out? You got a grind. You got a. It, it, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't black. Get, get yourself grounded, Jackie. You grounded? One. See, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm up. We up, but that, that damn turbo in the way. <laughs> that's what I was saying. We gotta get the stud. What you mean, the stud? What stud got doing in there? Cause the stud not a, and the stud still in it. That one we yeah. didn't loosen. It. Okay, that's fine. But it ain't gonna come up. 
What you what? I can try to let it down a little bit. It did come out. I try to let it butter down a little bit more. It did come up, huh? It came up, but it's not coming up enough to pull it. Mm. I didn't got my hands there. Say, bro! How, how is it not connected? Huh? It's not disconnected from the bottom. From behind? From the bottom when I was on the... Oh, you did? Yeah. Why what you just connect the turbine? What you think? I'm down there, man. You thought I was just playing around? Don't know. I ain't playing, playing. What is up, man? I'm here with my man, Janky. You see, I'm sweating a little bit. It's because Janky got the heat on blast in here, man. It's hot. It was cold, man. You know, bro. It ain't cold. He got a sweater on, man. This dude tripping. He about to burn all my propane now. I guess, uh, big shout out to my dad for the propane heater for sure. Uh, we got the head off the block, me and my man Janky. You see me Janky back there? Janky. Uh, always on some sketchy, janky stuff. Per usual, but uh, I figured out the problem, man, and I don't, I don't really know about this one. Uh, this piston, it's either the number one cylinder or the number one, four, number one cylinder or number four cylinder. That's kind of marred up a little bit. So I'm going to turn this camera around a little bit for y'all. I'm gonna let y'all see it. I want to get some uh, some pins on this piston because uh, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't really like the way it look. I might crank the motor over, put my hand over, and then see if uh, it has suction in this cylinder. But I feel like it's marred up a little bad, and I might just be taking uh, these piston rods out the block. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to do. Uh-uh kind of disappointed but like I said before man this is turned into a winter project so if I gotta yank this block out and take the pistons out man so be it man it'll be ready for the summer that's 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 100 but I'm gonna show it to y'all real quick about to flip this thing around so I'm gonna see uh, I don't know I know some of y'all might be some car guys out there the way it's kind of flickering with these LEDs so uh, it's kind of beat up a little bit. This is the one where, like, I'm really concerned with. You can see it right there. It's not supposed to be like that. Even this one got nicked a little bit. But I don't, this one not bad. This one is, like, literally beat the crap up. It's like, it was smooth at one point. I don't know what was going on. Yeah. So I don't know about this. It might I might just have to yank the block out. We don't I don't know what yet, block? but this block. You mean motor? That's the engine block. Block right here. Excuse Janky, cause he don't know no better. I don't know nothing about no car, but I know block Excuse Janky. He, he he don't know no better, man. Block is motor. And yeah. uh you knew how long it took us to get that out, don't you? Get that out. It won't take two people. But I got I got my A B head here, man. It's built. Let me show y'all what I'm working with, dog. Titanium valve springs. Titanium intake and exhaust valves. I don't know how many times I gotta say it, man. It's legit. We're gonna read this thing to the moon. I'm trying to shift at like uh 8500 RPM. I'm I'm milking it. I mean I'll probably shift at like eight thousand. You said 8,000 in the beginning, now you're talking 8,500. We're going to send it to the moon, bro. I'm not baby in this car. It look nice, and it is nice, but we're going to beat the crap out of it. That's 100. As always, I appreciate anybody and everybody watching my videos. The Audi TT is what sparked me to create the YouTube channel and Genius James. So we definitely got to get it built, you feel me? It's a minor setback for a major comeback. But it's not all bad, man. So I got my built AB head, and then I'ma build this block. So I got a block on the line for 100 bucks from a guy that I buy parts from all the time. It's coming complete, so I got the crank and all that stuff. I'ma take that crank, get it polished, and uh, I don't know, I'ma wait a piston and see if I need to get it balanced. But once I assemble that block, I'ma set my AB head on it, torque everything down to the specs, 
And then I'm going to pull this front end off and I'm going to throw the whole motor in there. So leave less room for error. So what I think happened to this motor is it definitely detonated. One or two things could have happened with this build. So for one, it was running lean. The fuel pressure regulator wasn't big enough and it wasn't getting enough fuel. But also, my timing could have been off. It could have been off by like a tooth or something. And that's what caused it to detonate it. The number four cylinder was the worst, but you know, we gonna make it happen, we gonna build it. If you enjoyed the content today, definitely subscribe, and if you bang with your boy, blow up that like button, and uh, we'll see y'all next week at Wednesday.